21 before. Pink for me, give me what he likes, and shout to him for For he's a jolly good fellow, he's friendly one today. Hey! I've always impressed on young Elvin the value of a variety of experiences. And as he's had 11 jobs in the past two years, you can't say that he's exactly ignored his father's advice. But I think he's beginning to learn that in today's world, you must specialize in something or you won't get very far. It's your life, Elvin. And this is my last piece of advice to you. There are openings everywhere for the right man. Find out what you want to do, and then extend yourself. In this world, there's no one who can afford to be slack. (laughs) 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 Extend yourself, Alvin! Ed, I'd like you to meet Alfred. Ed's in mining in the west. Got a very healthy little business going in Kalgoorlie. Hello, Alvin. Good day. What are you working at now? From what your father tells me, you seem to have a pretty big um, turnover. Million jobs. Well, actually, at the moment, I'm unemployed. Keeping his options open. <laughs> well, I know how you feel. I couldn't settle down at your age. But, well, I'd be quite willing to settle down as soon as I find something that, that really suits my... Uh... Special talents. What are your talents, Elvin? Well, well, that's just it. I'm, I'm not really sure, but... Hey, but... John! Look, excuse me one minute. That's no way to handle a man like Ed Elvin. He could open doors for you. This is Tina. He's our host, in a manner of speaking. Good day. How are you? Uh, I've heard a lot about you. Well, that sounds a bit threatening. Stop in. Uh, would you like to dance? <laughs> <laughs> 